20th Century Studios and New Regency. The Creator, only in theaters September 29th. Like it or not, humankind will end. We should never have let AI out of the box. From the director of Rogue One. Did you locate the weapon? This can't be right. She's just a kid. My name is Alfie. You're my friend? She dies with the rest of them. I can't do that. The Creator. Experience the movie event only in theaters September 29th. Rated PG-13. May be inappropriate for children under 13. Get tickets now. This is a Rogue Media Network podcast. Welcome back to another episode of No Waco. This is your host, Debbie. Welcome back to another episode of No Waco. I'm your host, Debbie, and today we have some very special guests here in the studio. Go ahead and introduce yourselves. Hello, I am Norma, owner of Norma's Blooming Vine. And I am Frankie Montalongo, <laughs> Norma's husband and <laughs> a local photographer. That Yay. is from the area. Yeah. Co-owner of Norma's Blooming Co-owner Bike. Co-owner of Norma's Blooming Bike, yes. <laughs> yes, the most important one. <laughs> yes. No, the most important title is Norma's Husband, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> like, who's that? Norma's Husband, that's who. <laughs> um, well, Norma, you've been on the show before, so you're a show nice. veteran. But Frankie, this is your first time. Yes. Um, so the first question I like to ask people when on the show is, what brought you to Waco? Or are you a Waco native? I am from Waco. Well, from Belmead. Um, for those that want to be particular, but, um, yeah, I'm from Waco, grew up here and I've always been here. Yeah. Yeah. So you've been able to see a lot of change, um, in your many years, um, yeah. or not so many years <laughs> yeah, yeah. here in Waco. <laughs> many years, many years. Um, and now you guys are entrepreneurs and business owners and creatives, um, and really just movers and shakers in our community. So, yeah. um, That's I bet it's been amazing. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Norma, you got started with your blooming bike. So yeah. tell me about it. We're here. Tell me some more updates. What yeah, we got going so on? I think the last time we were here, it was still like our first year of business. Mm-hmm. Um, so we're three years in going on our fourth year and we are actually now our flower shop is inside of cultivate 712 we're the front half of cultivate it's so exciting have a flower shop and an art gallery and Mm -hmm. then other small shops in the back um it's been a really good change we're so excited about being in downtown waco um yeah i mean we still have all of the markets going on um waco has just really embraced us uh we are really busy with yeah. baylor events as well uh we were going to have a family weekend event at baylor but baylor mm-hmm. ended up canceling it because uh, of the, the weather, weather. Yeah. texas weather but last weekend we were at um howdy at herd mm-hmm. and wow that was so fun it was yeah. a huge event that was, it was so full so busy yeah <laughs> um baylor's like insane here honestly yeah. um but yeah and the, just the community uh we're always at the farmer's market again we take a break during the summertime because it's too hot it's way yeah. too hot we die the flowers die yeah it's all hot. of the above no. <laughs> um but yeah farmer's market uh we're at the shop tuesday through saturday as well so yeah that's that's pretty much what's been going on with the blooming bike just constantly growing and bringing flowers to people and yeah i love that yeah. and so we're already most of the way through um 2023 surprisingly mm-hmm. we are already um yeah. halfway through september yeah. um what is one of your goals to achieve by the end of the year oh gosh that's a really good question honestly <laughs> and it could be qualitative that. quantitative yeah. um i think just i realize that a lot of the um people in Waco, if they aren't students or regular attendees of the farmer's market, they don't really know that we're here. Mm -hmm. So I think that would be a good goal of mine is to let the entire Waco community know that we are here, we exist, come get some flowers, Um, come buy your flowers with us for any occasion. We offer like same day delivery with DoorDash, so you can literally order on the DoorDash app, but I think that would be a good goal. Yeah, that would be a really good goal. Um, along with uh, starting up the uh, NAMI Waco organization, which is the National Alliance of Mental Illness. Is it Alliance or Association? I think it's Alliance. I I don't don't know. <laughs> it's okay. It's, yeah, but yeah. I was, um, also starting that up because we do, we are focused on mental health uh, with the flower cart. We like to say we're advocating for mental health through flowers. Um, but I, I know that. that that is something that we need to 
push a little more. Yeah. And I think with start bringing NAMI to Waco um, is a perfect way to go. So that way we can start um, having support groups for people. I love that. that. Just need a community, honestly. Yeah. 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 So what are some of your goals with that? What are you looking for? Um, What are you needing right now? So right now we're needing to find um, leaders, uh, volunteers. This is a nonprofit organization. So we're needing to have volunteers come in and take on Mm -hmm. some leadership roles. Uh, We need about four or five, four to six people, let's Mm -hmm. say, um, in these leadership roles. Um, I think we have about two other people along mm-hmm. with myself so three yeah. of us total so we're halfway there yay um mm-hmm. and yeah that's honestly what we need right now before we move on to the next steps once we have because we are just under the umbrella mm-hmm. of nami texas mm-hmm. um we will lean on nami texas a lot for a lot of the support and a lot of the um basically what all we need to have done the structure yeah uh will fall under them but um yeah that's kind of more or less what we're looking Yay, for I'm so excited about that yeah no that's fantastic um did you want to share anything on that Frankie yeah. or oh, no, I mean, uh I'm excited to something like that is like coming to Waco because yeah I'm sure a lot of people are missing that kind of stuff and right. don't even know where to go or how to get started with that, and those so. resources yeah. yeah yeah and that's something that the uh leader of NAMI Texas did let me know that um, they've had lots of inquiries for for the community here in Waco. Wow. Um, a lot of people have been looking for um, just a community, mm-hmm. um, yeah. a community to have people who might be struggling with the same thing, even if it's not exactly the same mental health issue. Uh, they are looking just for a community, someone to lean on, someone to kind of understand like, hey, I'm struggling with you. You're not alone. And I think that that's what's really important. And yeah. I think that that's kind of the driving force behind it all because it is a lot of uh work to get started but it's definitely something that keeps me motivated and it makes you want to continue uh the process and continue growing it even though it is a challenge yeah yeah i I do think that it needs to be more of a normal that people know that they're not alone right because up until a few years ago i didn't know yeah like i was like Oh, so this is normal for me to like feel like this. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm not <laughs> it's the only just normal. One. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We all struggle with something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of what we want really to cool. bring to Waco. Yeah. And yeah. with that, just on the other hand, I know you talked about like there just being a need here, but why do you think it's so important that it is here in our Waco community? Um, we have, I mean, we have, h- how big is Waco? How big is our population? Like 254,000? <laughs> yeah. Like all Five of these four. people. Two don't have, <laughs> all of these people don't have a place to kind of like a support group to lean yeah. on. Um, I feel like that's a lot of people. And for there not to be a support group, like it's a need. It's totally a need. Um, it's not more or less of like, do we, it's not a second guess if there's a need it's there's actually a need need. yeah Yeah. and um i know um the organizer the leader of nami texas has Mm -hmm. let me know that they've spoken with um the psychology department at baylor and baylor also gets lots of inquiries about needing the support groups the resources and that's kind of what we want to be a hub for that Mm -hmm. um we hope to have like a corner at the flower shop with all of the resources, all of the information, and also like the flower shop cultivate, yeah. hosting the support groups. Like that's where you meet in downtown Waco area. I think we're, I think we're honestly the perfect people to kind of start it up. I think we have a good location mm-hmm. and kind people I love in that. our building that can really be supportive. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. and that's fantastic. And you've done workshops and stuff before. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, you even just had a flower crown workshop. Yeah. So just that community building. Right. Um, I know you have some plans for some other ones coming up if you want to share yes. about those as well. Yeah, we have a fall arrangement mm-hmm. uh, workshop coming. Uh, what we're going to do is basically a pumpkin decorated so with cute. flowers and succulents. <laughs> um, I've put it on the calendar where it's Mm -hmm. close enough to the holiday so it could work as a centerpiece as well. And we also will have a wreath making workshop for Christmas time. Um, and it'll be early December for that. I think it's December 8th. I don't know the dates right off the top of my head, (laughs) but I think it's December 8th for that one. So you have like the full month to have your pretty wreath on your door. I love that. That'd be fantastic. All right. Perfect. Um, well with that, we're going to take a quick commercial break and then we'll be right back. Perfect. 
And now for a word from our sponsors. Hi, and welcome to Bustles and Bangers with your hostess, Rachel and Christopher. I love it when you say my name. And you didn't say hi. I didn't. You you just kept going. I'm going to introduce the book. I'm <laughs> not reading it It's because I don't like reading. Girls like cowboy butts, you know, and those jeans don't hide anything. Mm. Find us on Instagram at Bustles and Bangers or on RogueMediaNetwork.com. I'm Zach. And I'm Mike. And we have a fantastic new podcast to tell you about. Bros, Foes, and Heroes. It's the two of us looking into the world of comics, breaking down some characters that you may have never heard of, and some that are just absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, so Zach comes up with a character each time, and uh, I go into it just completely blind. I don't know who this person is or what their abilities are or anything, and and basically I guess we kind of go over their origin story. And just some of the ridiculous stuff that maybe, especially Golden Age stuff. Oh, Golden yeah. Age stuff is always the best. And we will make sure to highlight all of the shenanigans and just absolute weirdness yeah. of everything. Yeah, that's right. So subscribe today and uh, follow us on Instagram at Bros Bros Heroes. And if you don't, I know where you live. Not really, but please subscribe. <laughs> bros and Bros and Heroes. Gonna tell you about pros and foes and heroes. Gonna tell you about. Hey, I'm Blair. And I'm Brittany. And we're the host of By the the Cover Cover Podcast. Podcast. (laughs) We cover everything from mysteries, thrillers, romance, chiclet, and even some smut. Don't forget the smut. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) We're so excited to get this thing going and share this with you guys. We've been talking about this for months, and it's finally, finally happening. Yes. Special shout out to Rogue Media for helping us with this. For sure. (laughs) For sure. You can find us on Instagram at bythecover underscore podcast. You can also find us on Facebook and TikTok, so don't forget to give us a follow on those two also. We are so excited to dive into some of our favorite books and share those with you. We can't wait. Hope you love it. And now, back to the episode. All right, and we're back. So we were just talking about the exciting organization um, that Norma is working on forming here in our community um, to help um, have some more mental health resources and support groups um, for people that really need it here in Waco, um, along with some other update, updates with your um, business um, and how it's um, booming and blooming. Um, <laughs> um, Norma's Blooming Bank, obviously. Um, well, we're so excited that you're back at the farmer's market on Saturday. So I'm sure a bunch of people will be out there, um, you know, weather permitting. Right. <laughs> Yeah. Um, but one of the first questions I love to ask when we get back from break is, um, what would you like to see more of in Waco? I know we talked about there's already a need here and your business is growing, um, but what is something you would like to see? Um, wow. I don't... I would like to see more, like, um, more groupings like, mm-hmm. like the they started doing the uh, wake of farmers market on the Bridge wednesday street. night yes wednesday night. i think that's a really good idea i think that starts this wednesday right yeah, yeah it's yay. Yesterday. oh yesterday yeah. Yeah. so this will be out next weekend so yeah. check it out on wednesday yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, i know they did the like the summer music thing on saturdays mm-hmm. for the Olympic program to to that, but it looked like it was yeah. a really good event yeah, tonight's the Harambe Revival. Oh. Um, they're doing that over there in the East in, in the East Plaza. Uh-huh. Um, they'll be doing live music and vendors, and it'll be all weekend too. Yeah. So awesome. cool. um, it's crazy getting to see all the stuff like popping yeah. up. Yeah, I, I think that's what I like seeing the most of since like I grew up here, like seeing mm-hmm. all like the, all the new stuff popping events. up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that's the best yeah. part. Yeah, I think I would say the same thing. Honestly, the community events, um, seeing them pop up and just having more of them. Like if anyone has ideas on something to do, like 
be the person to start it. Yeah. I think that's the perfect way to put it. It's the like, little, I want to see. The slogan I say is always, be the Waco you want to see. Yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> I know it's hard a lot of times because it's hard oh, for me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, say something. Yeah. Do something. Bring, yeah. um, there's so much room to grow in Waco. There I love really, that. really is. Yeah. So it's perfect. And it kind of, it reminds me now. It's like, um, I know that there isn't a ton of like the art scene for mm-hmm. any particularly hispanic groups yeah and so going on to what frankie has yes. to um, do and say well what he's bringing on himself it's perfect it's a perfect um example of what we want to see yeah more of do what go. you want to yeah. do um so frankie <laughs> you do photography um tell me about your business what you've been doing and what are kind of your plans and goals um so i've been doing it since like <laughs> 20 I've been doing this since I was like 15, 16. Wow. Uh, I got my first camera in like 2012. Oh, wow. Take. Um, I've been kind of on and off with it lately or for that long anyways. Yeah. Um, mostly because of my mental health. Mm-hmm. I, just, I was doing it a lot when I first started up and uh, I just kind of burnt myself out and yeah. uh, lost the love for it. But uh, it's still there. Um, I, I'm committing to it now and, and like slowly. Uh, trying to keep where going. I made a new Instagram page for my photography Ooh. alone. So yeah. it's Yo Soy Fame Photo. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to follow and DM inquire, yeah. inquiry about it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you just did the fall photo shoot for Norma's, yes. of course, which those photos came out absolutely amazing. I'm not yes. just saying that because I'm in one of them. <laughs> <laughs> um, but your work is really good. Um, and I know you have some ideas about doing, like, an immigrant series, um, yeah. really just bringing that to Waco. So what what's with that? So next September, I'm planning on doing a series. I'm not quite sure what it'll be on. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm wanting to do immigrants. Uh, it just It's hard to kind of... Yeah. Have them feel comfortable with like yeah. doing that, and right. um, but I will do some kind of like um, Hispanic Latin kind of culture mm-hmm. thing mm-hmm. Uh, to go with September the month, yeah. Yeah. obviously. Yeah, so next September at Cultivate Seven Twelve, yeah. uh, I will have a series there next September. Yeah, so. tomorrow is yeah. the first day of Hispanic Heritage Month. Yeah, so tomorrow. I was checking. Yeah. I was like, I think it's like middle of the yeah. <laughs> middle of yeah. the month. Um, yeah, so. But I'm so glad to have you guys on and just, you know, Thank being you. leaders in the community, too, yeah. um, and just taking that time to really just cultivate that community. Yeah. I always say the word, but yeah. um, I'm sure that that will be a really great opportunity. Yeah. Um, what are some of the things you would like to do with your business? Are you wanting to do more professional, commercial? Um, I think I'd like to do more um, like portraits, uh, mm-hmm. kind of life events. Um, even just like we got married in Spain this past March and uh, I took photographs of our friends and stuff like that there. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's like amazing to see people having fun and kind of like having those core memories like with a picture and yeah. you kind of mm-hmm. get to experience that every time you see it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, um, anything and anything, everything, anything and everything, honestly. <laughs> yeah. uh, commercial, I'm, I'm open to like learning. Like I, I of course do stuff for Norma and yeah. I've had other, other clients that have hired me as well. Yeah. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty open to anything. So kind of finding my foot in the, yeah, it's yeah. like what I want to do. But I think um, one thing that really drives him, I noticed that makes him really excited is uh, documentary style photography. Yes. I love that. So he loves documenting whether it's like um, an event, but mm-hmm. you kind of look at the photos and it tells a story. Yeah. And I think that's kind of what, what motivates him a lot. Um, especially like with our wedding, mm-hmm. um, we have the entire process in photos, even though we don't have a full video of everything. Yeah. Um, we have leaving the airport, getting to the airport, yeah. <laughs> being in Madrid, mm-hmm. being yeah. in Seville, being in all of these different places. We have photos, drinking a beer at our favorite pizza spot. And, you know, yeah. um, so it's pretty much documenting everything. So, I love yeah. That. And I think that, um, what a lot of photo- photographers don't do or miss out on doing is when like they book a family to, for portraits, they don't take individual photos of like each person. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I, I was trying to make sure I do that. It's yeah. one of the like, requirements for myself. Sometimes they don't want to do that, so I don't force them, but yeah. I, I try to do that every single time. Yeah. 
I love that. Well, that's absolutely fantastic. And again, it's so cool just seeing um, the entrepreneurial spirit and just getting to do that. And um, again, just being another resource in the community. Yeah. Um, we always need photographers and people documenting um, yeah. just life events and um, events in general, especially yeah. with us wanting to have more events in right. downtown Waco, of course, yeah. um, and in Waco in general. Um, but that's absolutely amazing. Um, do you guys have anyone in the community you maybe want to shout out? Anybody that's helped you along this journey? Um, anybody else like that? I always say you can shout out your mom, your dog, or your grandma. Yeah. So <laughs> I was gonna be like, "Thanks, mom." Thanks, mom. Dad. Thanks, dogs. Uh, my brother Joner, he's mm-hmm. always kind of helped me, like, not care what people think. Yeah. Even though I still so struggle with it, but yeah, he's like, "Dude, just do what you want to do." Like yeah. he's a constant reminder. Yeah, yeah. He's, he got me into shows and stuff like uh, concerts. And I, yeah. It's like one of my passions. I love doing that. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. And for you, anybody you um, want to shout out? Jeez. That my husband he's always got my back <laughs> um yeah he always has my back always there to help mm-hmm. um and yeah i mean I it's love been that. great yeah, yeah I'm all so the glad. family thank you Yes. Seriously. Everybody yeah. in the family. Seriously. Yeah. You can't forget them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You'll get an angry uh, angry voicemail after yeah. the episode. <laughs> we heard it that you were thanking people and you didn't thank them. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, well, that's a really amazing. Um, is there anything else you want to share with our listeners today? Um, help somebody out. Yeah. Yay. Know, give a compliment, something. Yeah. All right. Just share a compliment or something. Yeah. Make their day. Even if it's like someone loading the car, it's just like, hey. Just give them an extra hand. They're like, yeah. back off. Like, okay, just. <laughs> oh, sorry. Just try. At least try, you know. Yeah, I love that. Mm-hmm. And of course, last but not least, plug yourselves. Give us all the social medias, where we can find you, where we can get your website, where we can order flowers. Yeah. Give us all the things. So everything social media wise is at Norma's Blooming Bike. Um, for the flower shop, of course, you can order your flowers on our website, normasbloomingbike.com. Um, inquiry information, everything is on our website. You can also order on DoorDash um, for same day, quick, fast delivery. And yeah, that's everything for me, Frankie. Uh, your soy fame photo, Y O S O Y F A M E photo, uh, Gmail. I mean, uh, sorry, Instagram. <laughs> Gmail. Uh, yeah, your soy fame is my personal if you want to follow. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. All right, perfect. Well, thank you guys so much for coming on today. Thank you for thank having you. us. Find us everywhere on all social media platforms, K-N-O-W underscore Waco. Check us out at roguemedianetwork.com and we're on YouTube under Rogue Media Network. Check out nowaco.com. This has been a Rogue Media Network production.